Let's take a moment and imagine that you are a soldier in a war zone, where your territory is being attacked by the enemy. This battleground is your backyard, and you're making every effort to protect it. What are some of the weapons you will use in this battle to rapidly and effectively counteract against your adversary? In this video, I'll break down the analogy of your enemy, as well as some of the tools you will need to protect your territory. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Tech with AB. My name is Abenezer Gerber Hewitt and I am a cybersecurity specialist at IBM. So I'll start by explaining the analogy. The soldiers, or you as security professionals, are trying to protect your territory, which can be your company's network. The enemy, also known as the hacker, is attempting to break into your network and then trying to steal all your sensitive data. You as a security professional will have various weapons or tools such as SIM, EDR, XDR, and SOAR. And then you'll be able to use these tools to guard your territory. So if you don't know what these tools are, by the end of this video, you'll be confident enough knowing about their capabilities and what they can do. So each of these tools have the same goal, which is to protect, defend, and respond effectively or quickly against the hackers for your organizations. So we'll cover four of these tools, uh, like I said, SIM, EDR, XDR, and SOAR. Before I start explaining these tools, I want to give you an idea of where these tools are used. Companies mostly separate from their IT departments have SOCs, also known as Security Operations Centers. You can think of these as the main command center for battle, where all the security decisions are being made. And if you're a security analyst, you're likely to work in one of these security operations centers. So let's get started with SIMS, also known as Security Information and Event Management. It is one of the most traditional and extremely useful tools to a SOC. And that's because they provide centralized visibility and context into enormous amounts of data. What that means is they collect different information from a company's network, cloud data, and endpoints. So an example of an endpoint can be computers, phones, or different devices that a company provides for employees to do their jobs. Then it organizes these as events. And events are anything that happens over a network. And not all events are like necessarily bad or alerts. So once these events are collected, um, they're converted into logs. Then the SIM organizes them into something meaningful. And after that, they'll be analyzed and escalated as an alert based on the rules and triggers set by the SOC. So coming back to the analogy of the weapons, uh, you can think of SIMs as the radar. They'll give you visibility to what's happening and what's about to attack your territory. Next, let's talk about EDRs, also known as Endpoint Detection and Response. It is similar to SIM on how it monitors to a specific activity, but it mainly focuses on endpoints. Like I mentioned earlier, endpoints can be anything laptops, phones, tablets, or any device that a company provides their employees to do their jobs. And EDRs help you protect against malware threats, including ransomware attacks, which is a huge problem in cybersecurity these days. According to IBM, the ransomware data breach cost an average of $4.35 million per breach. Just to put that into context, think of what you would do if you had $4.35 million to spend. And that's what companies are losing on an average per breach. EDR helps you defend those attacks by providing you behavioral analysis compared to your traditional antivirus. EDRs can enhance your SIM by providing you quality log source. And it not only provides monitoring, but it also responds to threats using automated and manual tools that can stop malicious activity. So going back to the analogy of EDRs, as we can think of them as sensors. They're always monitoring your, asset, your assets and they can connect to your radar to give you a better visibility. And if something goes wrong, they'll either self-destruct or do something to stop the malicious activity. Now let's get to XDR, also known as Extended Detection and Response. XDR is an emerging technology in the market and it aims to extend EDR capabilities past the endpoints. It extends to, for example, users, cloud, email, data, or generally any asset that a company has. It helps as a log source for SIM and has similar goals to both SIM and SOAR, which I'll get into next. 
Um, it is a fairly new technology, so we'll see which direction the technology goes. So going back to the analogy, let's think of XDR as a sensor that can attach to more things and has more capabilities compared to an EDR. The last tool we'll cover in this video is SOAR, also known as Security Orchestration, Automation, and Response. As the name states, it orchestrates, automates, and responds. It has a higher level of sophistication and is built for high efficiency and prioritization of alerts. What I mean by that is earlier when I mentioned events on Sims, I also mentioned that not all events are necessarily bad. So that's what exactly a SOAR would help us do. It prioritizes alerts based on playbooks set by the SOC. It helps security analysts make swift and fast decisions based on the importance of the events. And it integrates by pulling information from SIM, EDR, firewall, and more tools to make those decisions. So going back to the analogy, think of uh, source as radar guided missiles that automatically mitigate the risk based on the parameters set by the security operations center. So these are the tools or weapons being used by companies to protect themselves against attackers. Having more tools will harden your defense and makes it harder for attackers to get into your network and steal your data. IBM is one of those companies that's hugely investing on building a whole suite of these security technologies with an open architecture that integrates well with most security tools from different vendors. I'll put a link down below if you'd like to see IBM's security portfolio. Thank you so much for watching this video and please let me know if you have any feedback or any topics you'd like me to cover on the next video. Thank you and have a good one.